When designing a paper looking at outcomes after endovascular aneurysm repair, my co-authors and I are all people that work in aortic centers and are sensitized to failed or failing endographs and the, the challenge associated with saving uh, patients treated uh, outside of IFU. Uh, when we thought about how to better inform aneurysm care, the first thing we considered is whether or not IFU was followed by uh, surgeons and interventionalists implanting these devices around the country. It was surprising to find that nearly 25% of endovascular aneurysm grafts are implanted outside of the manufacturer's instructions for use. And we feel that this is an important concept that patients are not aware of when discussing how to treat their aneurysm and perhaps might better discuss care if this was a front and center concept because it clearly impacts durability of the repair. Endovascular aneurysm repairs are far and away the most common way of treating uh, this disease in patients uh, in the United States today. But there are certain things that should be addressed and the failure rate associated with treating a patient outside of IFU is double that of a patient treated inside the IFU. While it's only uh, about 2% per year based on our, our data, these patients were generally in their early to mid 70s. And so when you have a life expectancy somewhere between five and 10 years, you're exposing these patients to a significant risk of revision, assuming that they are properly surveilled by the Society for Vascular Surgery practice guidelines, which suggests yearly uh, with ultrasound. There is a certain proportion of patients that most likely will not make it to a hospital, not be surveilled and have a failing endograft that uh, could jeopardize their life. And that's something that we were not able to show in our study with a two year follow up period but may or may not be an issue at five to 10 years. And we hope to uh, provide information on that uh, in the coming years when follow-up in our data set increases.